Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is DMZ and this is my gaming review video for Kena Bridge of Spirits, the new title developed and published by Ember Labs. Now for those of you that haven't heard of Ember Labs, that is because this is their first entry into the world of gaming. However, they have bundles of experience creating immersive character-driven animation and digital content. Kena Bridge of Spirits has smashed all expectations gaining the spotlight and winning both the Best Debut Indie and Best Indie title at the Game Awards recently. And rightfully so, since seeing the concept art for Kena and honestly falling in love with its beautifully created characters, I have been dreaming of playing this game, and that dream was made into a reality when Ember Labs reached out with the opportunity to review it. Even though I have been supplied the game for free, this review will be completely impartial. So a little bit more about the game, let's go. Kena Bridge of Spirits follows the lead protagonist, Kena, who is a spirit guide and tasked to help those spirits trapped in limbo between the physical and spiritual worlds, often due to trauma they may have faced in their past life. In search of a sacred mountain shrine, Kena learns of a spreading corruption that affects the surrounding areas that causes monsters to appear. In her journey, she comes across an abandoned village and meets some interesting characters along the way, some of which are the Rot, adorable little black soot-like spiritual creatures that help her in many, many ways. As she fights to get to the mountain, she will find out what happened to the village and battle the corruption that threatens to destroy everything. Visually, Kena is stunning and Ember Labs have done a fantastic job in creating beautiful lush environments that burst with natural colour. So much detail has been paid to the flora that decorates the landscape and architecture that would give Studio Ghibli a run for their money. Taking inspiration from both Balinese and Japanese influences in both the settings and buildings really creates an aesthetic that is truly original. Environment and Pixar-esque character art aside, the animation is also highly detailed, in particular the interactions between characters and between Kina and the rot. There were quite a few rot scenes that honestly made my heart glow, they were so cute. The contrast between the corrupted and cleansed areas is stark, but leaves a small hint of what beauty lies beneath for when Kina does bring life back into those environments, and it works so well with the animation shift, it's honestly breathtaking. I played Kena on my original PlayStation 4 and I didn't experience any bad performance or loss in frame rate, which I was really thankful for. However, I can only imagine how good this game would look on a next generation console, such as the PlayStation 5 or if you're playing it on a very, very high spec PC. Kena Bridge of Spirit has a score to be proud of, with Gameland Balinese inspired instrumental music providing a relaxing background soundtrack for exploring and shifting to a quieter, more subtle sound in corrupted areas. This has been thought through as when the area is cleansed by Kena, the music floods back in with the colour and life of the environment. It's a really, really nice touch. During combat, the music shifts again to a dark foreboding feel that really, really intensifies the battle. The emotional scenes in Kena have some of the best gaming scores I've listened to in a while and it truly transforms the gameplay and the player's experience. This is down to the well thought musical pieces, but also down to the incredible voice acting by the small but powerful cast that is involved. I would have liked to have seen more on Kena's personal story, however at the same time this may have drawn away from the villagers own chapters and make that less emotively effective. Kena Bridge Spirit's biggest issue for me was probably surrounding the combat. Although I liked the simplicity of the combat actions, such as the dodge, spirit shield, basic and strong melee attacks, with more options such as the bow and bombs opening up later on in the game, it still felt to me that the battles were quite unforgiving on the medium or hard settings. With Kena only being able to take a few hits and not having that many healing options, this made fights a lot harder than they should have been sometimes. The camera controls could also be a little awkward in battle and led to a few frustrating moments. The easier setting, however, does allow the player to fully enjoy the game as battle sequences shouldn't provide much of a problem at all. Boss battles were epic and created a notable occasion and really pushed you to use all the attacks in your arsenal, which made a really nice change having that variety of enemies that you would be facing. Outside of combat, the majority of the game is exploration based, which I loved and really enjoyed. There's lots to collect if you like trophy hunting and some very interesting yet relaxing platform puzzles that varied gameplay nicely. 
My favourite was collecting hats for the rot. You can buy them as you unlock them and get the rot to wear them in the game. It's such a nice addition and it really really added a lot of character to them. I did notice when running around the scenery that I would often get stuck on seemingly nothing, however I could see this being rectified in a patch down the line possibly. Keener Bridge Spirits has a very standard levelling up system, with all main skills being unlocked by playing through the game. However, you can find meditation spots to unlock health bar upgrades, and through collecting resources in game you can upgrade your skills also. This isn't needed to finish the game, but again if you want to work towards that platinum it is recommended. In conclusion, I have to say I personally think that this is an incredible first release by Ember Labs and a beautifully created success on all fronts. There are areas that could be improved, especially in its combat, but the charming essence of the game makes up for that and then some. If you love exploring, being swept up in an imaginative and stunning environment with an immersive and heart moving experience, then I would heavily, heavily recommend Keener Bridge of Spirits. I'd also just like to say thank you to Ember Labs for giving me the opportunity to review this game, and I really, really can't wait for their next title. That's the end of my review and I hope you've enjoyed my video. If you did, then please don't forget to drop a like and a comment, and if you played Kinney yourself, let me know what you thought. If you don't want to miss my next video, you can subscribe for free by clicking that subscribe button, and turn on notifications by clicking the little red bell. Thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you all soon.